Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics series on college algebra. In this video today, we're going to be focusing on an introduction to sets. So a set is a collection of things. It could be any, uh, any group of items that have, has a common property. Uh, for example, a, it could be a set of the kinds of animals that live in the savanna, or a set of the cars on Earth. And in mathematics, we talk about two different kinds of overarching sets. They can be finite sets. So um, an example of a finite set would be uh, the positive integers less than 10. Positive integers less than 10. And so this set would be written like this. So we've got 1, 2, 3, and we can use an ellipsis here, all the way to 9. So this is our set of positive integers fewer than 10. And there are also and there are also infinite sets. And so uh, an example of an infinite set would be the set of natural numbers. So a natural number, uh, like we explained in our, um, our number classification video in the algebra series, is uh, any number above zero that is an integer. So we've got one, two, three, four, but there's no way of knowing where this list ends, so we are going to end with an ellipsis to mark that this set is infinite and it's going to have an infinite, uh, infinite quantity of numbers in the set. And so, one of the things that I mentioned a second ago is that a set is a collection of things with a common property. Now this isn't 100% truthful of a statement. Uh, we could have a set of numbers that don't really go together. For example, we've got a set A that equals, let's do 1, 4, 5, 36, 108, Point five. So this set of one, two, three, four, five numbers, this set A of five numbers, uh, these numbers don't really go together. They are, uh, they're defined and they go together because I've defined them to be in set A. That's why these are a set, even though the numbers don't have anything to do with each other. And so now let's introduce um, another, another notation for sets. So we've got this symbol here. It's kind of a curved E. And this symbol means element. And so we use this symbol when we're describing one of the terms in a set. So for example, we've got number five is in the set A. So we've got five. Is, within the, is an element within set A. So number five is an element of A. And we can also use um, the opposite of this symbol to show when an, uh, when, am I, when an item is not in a certain set. So 10 is missing from our set, for example. So 10, we just strike through our curved E here. So 10 is not an element of set A. And so we've got a couple of basic rules for sets here. And in our next college algebra video, we will be talking about subsets. Um, and so we will um, move on from this and just continue watching in our playlist. Or uh, I will leave a link in the description of this video to our subsets video. Thank you for watching this worldwide Center of Mathematics short on algebra. So be sure to click this button to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any new math videos. Click here to visit the playlist for the video that you just watched. And click on this button to visit centerofmath.org for even more math resources.